Hi, this is Mike for Themify, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add hook content directly into your page layouts by taking advantage of the new hook content uh, area in Themify's uh, custom framework. So I'm going to start by clicking on over into the dashboard, and I have the basic builder uh, theme set up and I'm going to click on settings. This brings us to the Themify framework settings and you'll now notice down here at the bottom we have an option for hook content. When I click that this brings me to the area where I can add hook content. Now first of all in understanding this what exactly is hook content? Uh, hook content is part of the WordPress program which allows for uh, theme developers and for plugin developers to actually take advantage of some built-in uh, WordPress uh, functionality by taking advantage of what are called hooks. Now to take advantage of this you would have to know how to write PHP. You would open up uh, a custom functions.php page and you would add your hooks by writing PHP directly in there and it would insert this content directly into the page layout. However, now with hook content being integrated directly into the Theme 5 framework, uh, you do not need to know PHP anymore to take advantage of uh, being able to add content directly into certain areas of your page layout. To see where we can add new content into your page layout, I'm going to click here on Hook Locations. Now all of these yellow areas, this WP head, body start, header before, header start, header end, these are all areas where we can inject content using hooks. Now let's say I want to add a, um, a banner right here at header end. Adding content is very easy. I'm going to click on add item and I'm going to check in my layout where I want this to appear and I want that to appear in the header end and I can add text or HTML tags. I'm just going to paste an HTML tag here for this banner.ping and I'm going to save this back at my front page and you'll see the add banner has been added directly where we wanted it underneath the main title of the blog. Let's say I wanted to add it further down the page, say in this footer area. I'm going to come back, I'm going to take a look at my hook locations to figure out where I should add it to. And as I scroll down, I want to add this to the footer start hook. So I will change my location from header end to footer start and save. I'm going to jump back over here to the front end. Here's my ad banner. When I click refresh, you'll notice that the banner disappears and it'll be on the bottom of the page in the footer. Banner is gone. We've now added it to the footer. I'm going to add another piece of hook content. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to click on add item. And this one I want to have appear after the post image. I'm going to paste in the image tag for a large banner here and I'm going to click on save. Now if I go back to my front end and I refresh you'll now notice that we have a large banner here underneath our post image. However, here on the main page, on my main blog roll, you'll see that it is underneath every single blog post here on my main blog roll on my front page. Uh, what if I specifically wanted that to only show on the single blog post page? Not on the blog roll on the home page, but on, as I click through to see the actual content. Uh, that too is also quite easy. All I have to do is click on Conditions and this will give you a number of conditions for when you want your your hook content to appear and in this case I'm going to click on single post view however you could also choose a category archive, an author page, a page view as well as uh, pages and categories, post types, individual taxonomies and individual use, user roles depending on when you need your content to appear. So I'm going to make sure that I've got single post views selected. I'm going to click on save. 
save this. I'm going to come back over to my front page. Now, when I refresh, you'll notice that the ad banner disappears. Ad banner is gone. However, now if I click through to the single post page, you'll notice that the ad banner is here underneath our single post image, only appearing on the single post page. Another excellent feature of the hook content is that you can use WordPress shortcodes. Allow me to add a new item and I would like this to appear in the header end location and I'm going to paste the Themify map shortcode. This is going to pull up a Google map and we've pasted in the address for 12 Main Street, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. I will save this. I'll take a look at my front page. And there you have it. We have injected a Google map directly into our page layout. And that's how quick and easy it is to take advantage of WordPress hooks without knowing any PHP now that it has been integrated directly into the Themify framework.